Hi, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your weekend reading for the 10th and the 11th of August, 2019. God, I wanted to say 2018. <sighs> okay. Oof. Right. Starting with Brian and Wendy Freed, Heart of the Fairy Oracle. Uh, I don't really know why. So let's just say I am. Oof, okay, that's why. Wowzers. We've had this energy going on, woof, with um, the death card popping out. Let's just go for some good old ride away action. Um, and I can kind of see why now that I'm looking at these cards. big reading still quite spiritual big jobs going on you want to come out don't you oh gosh right okay right i got this three brian and wendy freed cards in the middle of them is the prince of shadows now, there is a Queen of Shadows in this pack as well, but this most likely refers to a masculine energy. Now, that can be a man or a woman. It's just a masculine energy, okay? Prince of Shadows is a shadow side, so it is the side of... Darkness, I suppose. Fear, I think I'm getting as well. Now on the left of it, we have this lovely little character here. What do we call him? I can't pronounce the name, but it's the fixer. And the fixer goes around with his whitewash and mop and he tries to make everything look all right. He tries to make everything look like um, as good as new or at least papering over the cracks. You know, he's got his mop and he keeps his mouth shut and he fixes, he fixes and he fixes and he fixes, but you can't fix this and you can't, remember we had that death card in reverse so many times, you can't, and the tower in reverse a couple of days ago, you can't cling on to the illusion of it, okay? Now, on the right of the Prince of Shadows, we have the Sorcerer. The Sorcerer is a difficult, difficult, a different and difficult character actually. He's like Brian and Wendy Freed's version of the magician, but it's not the magician. I know, the magician who is not the magician. He's embedded in the forest. He's embedded in all things. And he's kind of embedded within each of us as well. And it's the sorcerer, you know, the ability to conjure something out of something organic the magician is a bit different he can be a bit more showy in the tarot he's got his table he's got his cloak it's a bit look what i have learned you know look what i can do again the female magician is the high priestess and the male magician or the masculine magician is the magician in the tarot and there is a certain sense of external the sorcerer here for me can combine what is organic with what with kind of magic that's a song um the feeling of bringing something out of the forest that was already there rather than producing tricks on a table okay 
you can't always explain the sorcerer in in complete figurative terms so the fixer is someone who tries to pretend there's nothing there at all and the sorcerer is someone who's been exposed enough been authentic enough or you have been authentic enough to be exposed to the sorcerer who kind of appears and bring something out of the forest that's the best i can put it okay there's been a situation here that you couldn't you've been banging your head against a brick wall and it's that whole thing about banging on a door and then realizing that the one next to it just opens it's that feeling okay we've got the lovers the lovers this is for some of you a relationship for some of you it's a choice it's always about a choice, usually to do with love with the lovers, but doesn't have to be, okay? It's a Gemini energy. And for some of you, the Six of Cups, you know, it's an old relationship for some of you with the Prince of Shadows. It's a karmic relationship for some of you with the Prince of Shadows. Um, it goes back a long way. It's scorpionic, I think, the Six of Cups. Let me just look in my old smelly book. I love this book. This is, and I can't pronounce the name, so I'll just show you the name. Angelus Arian, the Tarot Handbook. I've had it for 20 years, maybe 30 years, I don't know. Uh, it's fabulous. I just want to quickly, and it's not quickly, because I never am. Sun in Scorpio, ding a ling along. Okay, Scorpio, feeling water but massive depth. Okay, this could go back a long way, either past life wise or real life wise, or maybe those two aren't so distinct. The chariots, the sacred and the profane, uh, the devil and the angel, the the two sphinxes that are trying to go in different directions. The devil on your shoulder, the angel on your shoulder, yibbity yibbity, that kind of stuff. It just feels, it feels challenging, but in the middle of it, you've got the ace of swords. That is woomph. That is somehow or other. And I don't know when it will be, we're coming into some sense of knowing about a person, a situation or a dynamic that we know we can no longer fix. We've got the fixer, the ace of swords, the six of wands in reverse. We can't win by fixing. We can't paper over the shadows. We can't, we need to bring it out into the light with the sorcerer. But that can only happen. We also have the five of wands in reverse when we put down the need to fight and fix, okay? Fighting and fixing, the two Fs. Let's take one of these, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. All right. Oh, <laughs> one could fly across the room on its own, if you like. I knew we had to get that one. Honestly, these cards are creating themselves at night. Cause, mm, okay, looky here, the phoenix comes up again. Now, I know I've got two of these in this particular deck, or I did have at one point. God knows why. Maybe I don't now. Maybe it's phoenixed into something else. We have the phoenix. Resurrection, surrender to change. Okay, that is a big theme. Then we have the rainbow prince, compensation and perseverance. Now, perseverance doesn't mean working extra hard. Doesn't mean that. Does mean sticking with something. It does mean endeavour, but it doesn't mean mopping. <laughs> no mopping. Put down the mop, okay? And then keeper of the scales. Fairness and balance. Bringing something into balance. There's a lot here to be brought into balance. There is a lot of shadow, okay? And there isn't perhaps enough light. But the Ace of Swords, that is quite, that's epiphanic. I like saying that. Epiphanic. Ooh, Healing with the Angels, Oracle card. 
truth and integrity, baby. Nothing else will do. This is a theme that has also been coming up for a little while. Poof. Poof. Leave me a comment, okay? Let me know what you think. Do like, share and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Namaste.